thought I'd show what you're doing. All right, what I'm doing is delineating the space where the office and shooting area is going to be um, for all the photography and back-end website stuff we need to do. So this is where the wall is going to go. I'm using steel studs to do about half of the space, the stuff that's non-structural. Uh, so I've just been running those up. I got 16 foot tall steel studs, which will mean I get it all done in one fell swoop. Just taking this. I don't want to destroy the original details on this or down in the future. If anyone ever takes this building apart, we haven't cut through anything. So yeah, just going to uh, attach that. Then once I get the lines correct, I have to attach a corresponding plate, which is right here, uh, into the ceiling along here. And then it's a simple matter of putting fitting them in, in I putting guess? them in and screwing them together. There's uh, stiffeners that you put through, uh, uh, metal channels that you can use to run wires, but they also is that what this hole together. here is? This is for the stiffener. Actually, okay. this is upside down for the stiffener. I, it doesn't really matter on this one because... Oh, uh, so it should look like... Oh, yeah, that. there you go. We actually <laughs> can put a stiffener in either way, but um, I think it is probably best to do it. Yeah. So anyways, yeah, and then the wires can go through there. So yeah, so this is what we're doing. Going to roll... A lot of this is, as I've described before, is... Tetris, moving our crap from one spot to another to another. So now I'm going to just make sure there's enough space to move the scaffolding in here so I can get up and start laying out stuff on the ceiling. And then soon enough, we won't be able to walk through here. Exciting. That's so, the office is being built. So, metal studs for the main wall. And then wood for the platform that we're building. And then eventually this area will be a bathroom. And then the kitchen beside it. And this might be a little guest room kind of apartment. So we're getting the drywall up, but it is the fire rated, so it's very heavy. And uh, yeah, we need the scaffolding to do it. Way back from out of the dry lands. My grandfather's strong hands, they built this home Wielding an axe and a hand drill And a mountain Lord of man. raw skill Look at that! We got floor choices! That's what they're called, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Did I just say that wrong? Joyces. Joyces is this? Joyces. Look at that. And then the doors will go right here. They'll look amazing. Long days of work in the field. But then the yields, they started to fall The drought hit, and then came the dust bowl It carried the topsoil away in a gust Go to 45 and 
one quarter is tight, so you can go to 45 and 1 eighth. Well, then, last one on the left, let's go holding jumping jacks. Huh? <laughs> 45 and 3 quarter. <laughs> okay, this is going to be an odd one. Maybe I should go a little lower on some of these. Oh, I, gotta, I just gotta go every uh, go to sixteen or uh, every sixteen inches. So I'm just gonna go so okay. fastest. Yeah. Okay, so sixteen inches in. Let's go by the screws on the wall. Roughly. Well, but I'm not one. All right, so yep. So what are we looking at there? Forty-five and a half. Okay. Wait, so it's 45 and a half and the one, it, the other one is, is it 45 and a quarter? The edge is 45 and three quarters. The edge is 45 and three quarters. So it went up? Okay. And yeah, we're getting taller again. Yeah. We got, we're in the middle of the belly here. We're in the belly of the whale. All right, and... So 32. It's gonna be 45 and a quarter. And then, and then, so we have on this side, I guess, so we already have the half. Yep. So then, so then uh, we're going to leave it at 45 and a quarter. Now we're getting smart. 45. You make that a big quarter if you want. So, all right. All right. And then uh, a tight 45 and a half. So, all right. Yeah, 45 and 3 eighths. I'm going to try to like straight line the curve. Yeah, a little bit. Straighten the curve. Good luck with that. I guess it doesn't really matter because if you don't follow the pencil line with the knife. So can I ask why the measurements are so crazy? Uh, because this the is... ceiling has a belly in it. And we're in the middle. The ceiling drops in the center, and so we got to follow the curve. Ah, gotcha. Ooh, so I'm just going to get sort of like a... And a round, close Yeah. If we curve. get within a foot, we're good. <laughs> but if we get within a quarter of an inch... Drywall mud does miracles. <laughs> well, no, we're going to trim it. We're going to trim the top. Uh, the top is uh, getting the trim on it. Yes. Okay. So really, if we're a quarter inch out, it's not the end of the world, but it'd be better to get as tight as possible. Snug as a bug in a rug. Hell yeah. Which is really a gross saying if you think about it, because they're talking about bed bugs. Yeah. And, uh, or rug bugs. Uh-oh. Yeah. I felt. I saw a shadow fall over the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Dave can handle it. You got this, Dave. You got precision. You know what? What's cool is that you can hardly tell that I'm drunk right now doing this. I can't I mean? tell from up here at all. Yeah. And I'm higher than you are. I got one high, one drunk. Jesus, we're in trouble. What does that make you? Amazing. Yes. Tolerant. <laughs> Amazingly tolerant. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The best of the best, right here on the job. I'm watching this with bated breath. Don't eat the bait. Or I'm just afraid. The worms are for the fishes. Oh no, the worms are good. I always lick the chocolate off first. Did it. This stuff is so much stiffer than regular drywall. Because this is fire rated, right? Yes, it is. If you're the building inspector watching, it really is It's fire rated for sure. Really.
Yes, look at that. Snappy, snappy. Oh, snap. Okay. Sorry, man. Oh. I thought I could move faster backwards. <laughs> but there was a ladder in my way. All right. <laughs> it's all Dave's fault. I can take the blame. Mainly because I don't care, but you know, also because I care so much. Right? Uh huh. All right, so I'm going to you about six and then. All right, you good? Oh, those are my fingers. You ran first, you ran in? Uh, not quite. No. You need to push it towards me. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, off. We're in, yep. Yeah. I'll fix that later. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hold the ladder for me. Okay. Okay. Keep on moving. Nice. You worked in a sawmill to pay for the crowd. All right. Let's see if you can hit him. Ah. <laughs> uh, darn it. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, probably, huh? We'll wait. We'll wait until he brings lunch back. I want to see you in the exact same position. A hot day beneath the veranda. I went to stand up. It hit me at once. Well, we have persevered. And we have put up all the drywall for one side of the wall. So now we're tossing up this home the tape and we're does. doing a mudding and taping for the first layer. And our hope is to have that done to today. At least the first coat. Excellent. Yes. So do you have to use some kind of special so mud on the fire rating? No. No? Uh, wait, I'm going to say yes. We've mixed it with a special ingredient. Oh, you're so gross. Human. Oh, oh cumin, so okay. Where's your mind? Yeah. Is it human? No. Cumin? Cumin! <laughs> cumin! Oh, so, we got the upper and the lower. Upper, lower. Upper and lower management. That's yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll manage to get this done today, don't worry. <laughs> So I'm uh, starting, we, we received this lovely Christmas gift. Um, because uh, we're dorks. An and airless for paint it. sprayer, because we have a bit of a job ahead of us. And uh, so right now I'm just, I have it primed, paint is now in. I'm gonna just spray this until paint comes out and then we should be ready to change a couple of hoses and start spraying a painting primer on the walls, all right? This is the action shot right here. <laughs> I see paint. You see paint? Now I have to do a couple things, change this back to spray rather than unclog. Take this and it's supposed to go back into here. And now I've got paint on my face. You have a speckle. Okay. The speckle. There's the first speckle. And now... Now your hands are kind of covered, but... This is the first spray. Okay, I have to say, though, we're just doing this for the camera. Dave doesn't have a mask and stuff on right now, but he will be suited up in, like, five minutes. I'm not going to suit up. I'm just going to put a mask on. Yeah. And some goggles. Yes. All right. Oh, take the <laughs> 
Oh, oh, okay. Um, maybe you should spray in the bucket first. Well, no, I to got make sure something's not right. It, it's not on right. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to tighten this up. Okay. Cut. All right. Just fixed to, it. It wasn't on tight wasn't enough. On tight enough. Ready? Yep. sand once it dries, but whatever. Yes. I'll fix that. Cool. Alright, we're gonna go suit. Well, behold, a wall. We have a big white okay. wall. I I went straight to the unpainted corner. I'm well, sorry. Yeah, there's that's the corner <laughs> of death. That's the corner that I need to move all this crap before I can actually get myself in there to do paint it safely. Yes, to, to, uh, but we mind. do have a wall that's primed. A primed white wall that honestly only took about 45 minutes to do because... And how is cleaning of the sprayer and stuff? We have not cleaned it yet. Oh, oh okay. So Sorry. I was just waiting to see, make sure, see if there are any more spots I need to hit before uh, cleaning it up. But nice. we'll see. Okay. Way back from out of the dry lands, my grandfather's strong hands, they built this home. Now, dark. Welcome right, to the dark side. Exactly. That lovely white wall. Yeah. We're going to do it right. It's going to, what's the name of the color? Uh, Steamship. Steamship. So it's like <laughs> so blue, it's black. Uh, mm -hmm. It's gonna be great. So uh, I'm gonna get to spraying. Yeah. I'm gonna get out of the way. <laughs> I love how fast it goes with the sprayer. No kidding. Wow. That is fast. Wielding an axe and a hand drill and a mountain of raw skill. He built it to last. in the fields but then the yields they started to fall the drought hit and then came the dust bowl it carried the topsoil away in a gun in a sawmill to pay for the crop You want to talk about what you're doing? Well, I'm 
putting up a cleat wall. wall. Because... Wait, wait. What's a cleat oh, wall? <laughs> this is a French cleat wall. So it's basically 45 degrees cut on sheet of plywood. And when you want to hang something from it, you just put it on the back. It's like what people use to put up uh, kitchen kit that kitchen cupboards and stuff like that so this we're gonna do as a, a wall that we can change I can build shelves that will sit on this boxes for display we can just do a bunch of interesting looking stuff all around this cleat wall so I'm uh, putting it all together mounting this so that each of this is going into one of the studs and uh, it's capable of holding massive amounts of weight which we won't be putting massive amounts of weight on it but also most importantly beyond all of the practical things it just looks good and that's important you know what I mean <laughs> like come on <laughs> it yeah. looks pretty good and it's going to go really high. So it's going to go from the bottom there. We'll go up 10 feet and stop there. So it's going to be a stop at about 12 feet in the air. And there's going to be one section here, eight feet wide, and one section over there, eight feet wide. Lots of display space. Did all that he could to finish the house. Exactly. Or making my video shit. It's really not gonna help my sh subscribers. If someone dies, dun 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 dun. Videotaping, videotaping. No, this is drywall taping. Sorry. Drywall <laughs> taping is what we're doing. I don't think they use reasons, so that's the way we have to do it. Ours is not the reason why. Ours is put the mud and let it dry. <laughs> that almost was a good one. <laughs> that it was. I liked it. Not like the other one. And that's the joke? Yep. It was oh. a good joke. It was a good one. I can't remember what it was right now. Probably it was so good. good. Probably it's gone. <laughs> you had to be there. It was so good that it can't be repeated. Something are built to last.